Hi everyone, let's talk about these new Lauren Roth limited edition pilot collaborations in today's video. I want to give you a really up close look at the different designs and talk a little bit about Lauren Roth because there is a high likelihood that you're going, okay, who in the world is Lauren Roth? I haven't heard about her. So we'll be going over that as well. So first of all, Lauren Roth is an artist based in Hawaii. I believe she is based in Oahu, but she's a painter and she opened up her own shop. She has her own designs. And you know, I think because there are so many Japanese visitors to Hawaii, it must have been that she ended up with some kind of merchandising deal in Japan because she's also, I would say maybe even like more popular in Japan, her like merchandised goods. And so it seems that Pilot must have approached her and asked if she wanted to do a collaboration with her very colorful Hawaiian designs. And when I saw these, I just, they made me so happy to look at. And if you're anything like me during the pandemic, you became the proud parent of like way too many plants. So you'll probably feel my excitement for some of these, like this Monstera juice up that I have been using constantly since I got it because it makes me so happy and it is gorgeous. All right, so I think that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea about who Lauren Roth is and how she ended up with <laughs> this pilot collaboration in Japan. Uh, why don't we go over the designs? Because what they've done with this collaboration is they've made, I think, eight different designs and they've done a juice up and an acro ball of each design. So like, for example, Let's start with this design right here. This is in the acro ball and the juice up. The acro ball is in 0.5 with regular black acro ink. And then the juice up, of course, is the juice, juice up ink in black 0.4. But they're calling this one abstract design. You can see on the acro ball, it has pink trim. And on the juice up, it's got white trim. And I'll just kind of spin them slowly so you can kind of see the design there. Next, why don't we do the banana leaf? So here we go. Here is the banana leaf in the acro ball and the juice up and you can see they've gone with pink trim on that design for the acro and then of course the white trim for the juice up. Next why don't we do tropical bliss so here we go. So this one's very bright and colorful Looks like a lot of tropical flowers on there. And they've gone with kind of a yellow or gold trim for the acro and then continuing with the white trim for the juice up here. Almost halfway through. Okay, next is my absolute favorite, the Monstera. So they've done the black trim for the juice up on this one, and then this really pretty blue-green trim on the acro. And the Pilot Lauren Roth design. So I think what they did here is, so it's got a lot of her colorful designs on here and they've also gone with like a pilot nib so that's kind of a cool unique design here super like beachy 
tropical rainbowy colors. These just make me so happy to look at them. Okay, let's do the gradient banana next. So this is that banana leaf again. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Sorry. So this is that banana leaf again with like uh, gradient blues. And then they've got that nice black trim and really pretty kind of like sky blue trim or light blue trim on the acro ball. Okay. And then we'll do tropical twist next. Getting them all mixed up. Okay, here's tropical twist. Wait, no. Here we go. Here we go, tropical twist. Okay, so you've got the silver grip in the acro ball and then the black grip on the juice up, which kind of looks cool with the darker black um, line drawings on this one. And I'm sorry if you can hear a rainstorm in the background. I don't know what it is lately with background sounds, but makes recording videos challenging. Okay, and here is the Paradise Bird. This is the eighth design. Another really colorful one. Another design that just makes me really happy when I look at it. Okay, so why don't we zoom in just, just in case you're not familiar with the Juice Up and Acro Ball, which will shock me if you're not, but in case you aren't, I can give you some swatching here. Okay, so am I in the, yes. Okay, so here we have Juice Up, and this is a point for a really nice, just juicy gel pen. And the Juice Up has this hybrid synergy tip. So you can see that it's both a mix of a needle point and a conical tip. And that makes it quite unique. And now below, so the Acro ink is a hybrid oil-based ink. So it's not going to be juicy like a gel ink. But it is a nice bold ink. And this one is 0.5. So you can, I think, see the boldness of these inks and they're both really smooth. I tend to lean toward gel ink. You know, I am right-handed, so I don't really end up with smear problems or anything like that. So that's never really much of a concern for me. I know left-handed individuals can struggle a little bit with gel ink just because it's wetter, but in any case, let me zoom out and give you one last look at these gorgeous pen barrels. To me, this one is just like the the pen with the best vibes that we've had in a long time. I'm really into it. It's like, if you're doing self-care journaling, I highly recommend this pen. Just pick whatever design speaks the most to you and I think you'll be happy with it. Anyway, that's our lovely set of Lauren Roth pens. Oh, and if you like plants in Monstera, you actually should really check these out because these have been making me so happy lately too. These are the Midori Eclipse and they come in this plant leaf variation. That is just really, really lovely. All right, well, my puppy, once again, hearing me in the video and whining in the background is my cue to say goodbye. As always, let me know below if you have some questions and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.